Okay, Dibble, it's a brand new year. We're going to look forward at 2021. It's good. Fuck. All right, so we're going to look forward at 2022 and look at goals, things we're thinking about, games we're excited for, that sort of thing. How you the doing? The years have changed. The date has changed, but the game has not. Getting trophies is still the name of the game. Uh, having a good time playing games here. We're going to talk on the bi-weekly breakdown about what are the goals for 2022 for the two of us. Right, Peter? Right, I think so. I, I don't usually have gaming-specific goals. Sometimes when we did the podcast, you forced me to. Yep. And I begrudgingly did them. But some of them were pretty fun. Like, I had the one one time where it was like I couldn't buy a new game until I platted an old game. Yep. And that saved money. That was a great idea. What, one year, I didn't play any games from a big AAA studio. Like, I couldn't buy a Ubisoft game, a Capcom game, an Activision game, a Blizzard game, or like a Nintendo game for the whole year. Except I had one, I had one like Mulligan, and I spent it on Monster Hunter World and that one game of the year. So like, yeah, so it was well worth it. You you did a well good goal. It. it was smart. But yeah, I played a ton of stuff. I played like Hat in Time, a bunch of other indies that I can't name off the top of my head, mostly because I played Hat in Time a lot and I liked it. But yeah, that was that was a great choice. So uh, this year, we are gonna choose to we're gonna make some decisions. We're gonna put it in stone, and in stone I mean on electrons stored in a database in California, so that everybody can watch this, and when we don't do it, they can be like, that Those Peter guy. Are really... we going to revisit these in a year? Are we going to be like, you're, you did Do you want to do that? All. Oh, yeah. Do you want to, I'm not going to be alive in a year. I hope I'm alive. Okay. <laughs> We're so very optimistic. Millennials, baby! Hey. Death is hilarious. So talk to me, all right. talk to me, what are you thinking this year? All right, so last year, I had kind of planned... I hit it really early where I was like, I was way ahead of my ever, like a cur like the most platinums I'd ever gotten in a year before last year was like 44. And I, I kind of did the Jordan Belford thing where I was like, if I'd gotten eight more, I would have gotten one per week and that'd have been dope. So I was like, damn, I can do better than that. So to last year I had like eight by February and I was like, I think I can hit 52 in a year yeah. at this pace. And then I did. Nice. So think... this year the goal is to not do that. Okay, my I goals are similar. Exhausted. My goals are similar. I got, I got, I think forty three platinums this year in twenty twenty one, and that is more than I have ever gotten by like a a significant number. I think one of my goals is to play less games. <laughs> I think I'll play. I will play more. I won't play less games per se. Like, I mean, I'll obviously game for a less amount of time, but I think I'll play like fewer games more than I would play a lot of games a little bit. Does that make sense? I think so too. Like I, you know, we're in a trophy competition right now that is focused on rarity and is focused yeah. on rewarding harder games. And I think that sort of brought me back a little bit to be like, Oh, I like going for harder stuff. Like I like strategy games. Pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like, yeah, we, we both like pain. You were like, Hey, remember meat boy? Here's slime son. It's like meat boy. But hard. <laughs> no, no. There's no but. It's li it's Meat Boy. That's it. There's fans. So that's how you know it's a good game. There's fans. There's the missile launchers. There's the oh my god. So, so the only so thing first that, goal, has that first goal I'm putting in stone. You ready? What is it? You ready? Do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna name a platinum. Yeah. And I'm gonna get that platinum. I'm committed. My and then I have a crazy thing to say to you. Hold on. My I have to too. I have to get the wording right before you botch it on me. Why would how would I botch I it? I wrote it down. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shout I'm gonna call my shot. This is a pool table. I'm calling my shot. I'm getting the Deadbolt Platinum this year. Okay. Deadbolt has been on my list forever. I'm down how to rare three is trophies Deadbolt? besides the okay. platinum. Okay. And they are all like full playthrough. These one of the trophies is speed run the game in under an hour. The world record speed run is over a half hour. That sounds way manageable. You I'm be doing bound it. like two days ago. It scared it scared me off for too many years. I'm doing it. My second goal, okay. I'm giving to you. You can pick a platinum. So what I was going to say was, this was what I was going to put on you. Oh, God. 
If I get mine Laban, okay, you have to get Farpoint, okay. And the problem with that is, from everything I've read and everything I've played, you cannot play the game well enough with the with the controller. You have to get the gun. You have to get the dildo gun. Do I have to buy the gun, or can I can I attempt it, every the post controller? you read? You can't aim well enough. No, to, I'm saying, is that as, part of this exchange? I'm saying if you, you well, if I get Wolfenstein too, you just have to get Farpoint, okay, and if okay. you can't do it because you don't get the gun, if you like, if you try to go for it and you get serious about it, I guarantee you after like three hours you'd be like, I need the gun. This is impossible. So, so here's what worries me. Here's what makes okay. me afraid. Okay. You don't have the Wolfenstein two platinum. No, I don't. December twenty sixth rolls around. You get yeah. the Wolfenstein two platinum. Oh no, I wouldn't do that to you. No, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. This okay. that's a bit of a gentleman's agreement. I feel like we'd be at a point where like maybe I'm in like August and I'm reevaluating this decision. I'm on board because with this. I I had thought about going for it for this competition and then I was like it's way too much work for one trophy. Cuz I remember you got it in your like 28th attempt. Yeah, 30 and granted, something. You were counting when you would die in the first hallway. But like yeah, so they weren't, not all 28 attempts were like six hours long, but still, it's like every attempt you get to a certain point, it's like, all right, we're four hours in, and now we're past the hardest part, now we just have to cruise for the next three hours and not fuck up, and maybe we'll get the trophy. So, yeah, yeah. Wolfenstein's rough. So, twice I fell through the floor on the last level, just from a glitch. I think I was texting you today. This won't relate to anybody who's never played this game before, but I, the fi- the new game plus, not new game plus, but the final, the final level in Slime Song, I was way under for the, the time trial the first time. No, the second time. The first time I was like 10 seconds under and I hit the lip right before the finish line and it bounced me up into the ceiling and uh, killed me and I missed the time trial. No, I, so corner so, so, so dig into that for a bit. So Slime Sand is a, like, I call it a precision platformer. I call it a 2D yeah, precision, precision pla- yeah. platformer. And yeah. it's got a dope feature where every now and then if you hit the corner, you go shooting off to oblivion and you die. You die always die. Yeah. You usually die, though. You usually die, yeah. It's great. It's, it's not totally fun. Intentional. Don't like it. It's totally it doesn't happen. Yeah. It doesn't happen consistently enough that I hate the game, but happens consistently enough that you notice when you're going for yeah. the platinum. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not great. So that happened to me, and I'm just like thinking about like, oh, this was only 12 minutes of precision platforming. Imagine this was if this was seven hours of first person shooter shenanigans. And granted, playing Slime Song the way I'm playing it with the bonus character and kind of. Being like, that's what you want to do. Fuck that. I'm doing this instead. <laughs> it's like a lot of the way you played Wolfenstein too, where you're like, I'm supposed to do this, but out of bounds is way easier. And you just kind of. Yeah. I definitely did out of bounds glitches for Wolfenstein. I will say the yeah. worst part of going for Mind Laban is the 20 minute unskippable cutscene uh, that you have to sit through every time. I mean, at least you know you can like go make a sandwich and go to the. Bathroom you can and take go a make a sandwich. You don't. You don't exit that cutscene in a fight. However, there is a mid-game cutscene before the courthouse where the cutscene does end in a fight. <sighs> Man, it's not fun. It's I not regret. Fun. Uh, okay, so may I take? Maybe I should take this. I mean, the <laughs> funny thing is, I've I've wanted to go for Farpoint because it's like it's a really rare plat. It's VR. It's a shooter. And there's the guy who's gotten all of the really hard challenges done, made videos of all of them. And he's like, this is my strategy. This is how I do this. Just do what I do and you'll probably get it. And nobody's doing it. Yeah. He told you what to do. Yeah. I'm just not skilled so I'm like, That's what it is. You got to get the gun, bro. You gotta get I do got to get the gun. I'm trying to play with the controller. It's not working out. It's not good. No. I, uh, yeah, I like that game. I just like VR shooters. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for gaming, I guess. Oh, the th- I said I was going to play less games, but the less games I'm going to play a little bit more. Sure. I, my wife played a game back when we only had the one PlayStation a long time ago. She started it. It's now blown up. In 2021, it was like essentially game of the year if you could give it to a game that's five years old. Everybody, people were j- jumping off of one boat onto this boat. They were like, fuck that WoW piece of shit. I want to play Final Fantasy XIV oh, online. Sure, Final Fantasy XIV, so, Endwalker. That the game's might so be... popular, they had to pull it from storefronts. So that might actually be... Yeah, because they didn't have room on servers. Yeah. So that might be the game that I start this year. Because I have 
I have like a box out. I'm sure it's like this disc doesn't do anything anymore. You got to pay like five bucks monthly, but I'll tell you, I've, I've never... heard nothing but amazing things about it. I'm, I'm going to find out real quick. Cause I like destiny and I've always said destiny and Iceborne are like MMO light. It's got a lot of the elements, but not enough of them to cover it for your definition of an MMO. Yeah. Final fantasy 14 is an MMO. There's no, yeah, no, no holds barred. It's got I, everything. I would say, I would say both of those games definitely have MMO elements. But they don't have enough of them. I wouldn't. I wouldn't personally call them MMOs, but they have the instance dungeons. They have. Um, they have a lot of things that I would attribute to an MMO. Um, I went back. I went back and listened to the first podcast episode where we talked about Monster Hunter World, and I described yeah. it as all the fun parts of an MMO without any of the awful parts of it. Yeah, like you know, trying to queue up for raids and being the right class, or you don't get in auction houses getting trading. thrown out of your guild because you're not maintaining gear level like Cues, good times yeah good the times. bad parts yeah it doesn't have the... well i mean that's the same thing with with like if you've never done destiny lfg looking for a group where they're like do you have this exotic and you're like no can you carry me they're like no fucking get out of here kid kick rocks <laughs> i remember in d1 like you know three or four years ago oh, god i don't even remember how long ago that was if you did not have gallahorn you did not get to do the raid because that was these words mean almost nothing to me. Except you I know what Galahorn is. It's in Destiny. Oh, it's a gun, it's probably. A... I don't... It's the one that shoots rockets and the rocks explode and shoot more rockets. It's the most overpowered that sounds gun. Good. That I've... Yeah, it is good. And they tried to nerf it, and it was still the best thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, well, okay. So we talk about goals. The goal you and I always have, we never have to say, one plat a month. Oh yeah, sure. Um, since we've never formally talked about that on here, I guess we have it. it. No. I guess since 2015, we have maintained one platinum a month. And if we, which granted, if we don't get a platinum, we've never really decided what happens. It's this unspoken rule that became official a few months in. It's it's like the uh, I always described it like the fucking ZZ Top, the two guys with the beards. It was a beard growing contest. Whoever cut their beard first lost. And they literally grew their beards for like 60 years. And the only reason one of them lost is because he died like last year. Yeah. So. It's going to get to the point where like one of us will bail out and we'll never have another chance to reclaim the title. We're going on years think, now. Yeah. It's like six years now. Yeah. Seven years. I think the funny thing about it is we're like, yeah, one a year. And it's like, how many platinums do you have? You have like 180 or maybe you're getting your 200. You get 286. Okay, and the, I'm at like this might not be a goal that's something. a goal. So 186, I'm pretty confident I'm making it to 200 this year. You'll make 200 I would this like, year. I would like Elden Ring to be my 200th Platinum. Ooh, bro, you need to get 13 in like a month and a half. I don't think that's feasible. I think we're going to have to hold off on Elden Ring and just like wait to Platinum it. Because Sekiro was 100. Like we got to we gotta complete the circle. I think I think 100 for me was Surgeon Simulator and 200 was Monster Hunter World, which is silly. It's like that I had been playing that game for like two years at that point, but I don't finally gotten around to finishing the base game. But yeah, I mean, it's funny that you know we talk about like oh you got to make sure you get one per month, and it's like you have hundreds. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's that hard for you to get one a month. It's like well sometimes you know life... some months are rough. Like some months yeah. come down to the wire, and then other and months the, are like thing... I got eight platinums. Like whatever. I don't. I don't think when it's come down to the wire, either of us has ever gotten a platinum like above like 35% rarity when it comes to trying to nab one in like two or three days. Well, that's because we're scared of the shame. We're scared. We're scared of the. I'm just trying to make it clear because there are going to be people out there who go, just fucking get like, my name is Mayo. It takes five minutes. Nope. Nope. (laughs) There's a lot of unspoken rules between us about our platinum collections. It's fairly, fairly so. Yeah. You gotta, it's gotta be, you know. If the one platinum you get per month minimum has to be, you know, worth being the one platinum you got that month. Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to think of a month. Gaming goals? I don't have any gaming goals. I have some life goals. Life goals? Which is not get fat shamed by my doctor so much in future. Oh, I have a story about getting fat shamed (laughs) by your doctor. So this is a while ago. This is like two years ago. I was a little bit fatter then. And the doctor was like, okay, like, you know, you should probably start eating healthier. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty fat. And he was like, you're obese. 
And I was like, okay, He was like, sir. you're not pretty fat, bro. He's like, I'm a doctor. You're fat as fuck, bro. And I was like, I mean, okay, yeah, you're right. And he's like, and I can say that. And he like taps on the board on the wall where it's like, doctor. He's like, I can say you're fat. It's my job, Exactly. Bitch. It's funny. Yeah, so I'm looking back. In 2020, I got one platinum in March, which was Obra Dinn. Because we were ma- I made a video on it. So of that's course. a pretty decent reason. That was 56%, but that's because people use walkthroughs. So that's fair. And I made a video on it. And then the next month, I got Journey to the Savage Planet, which is 12%. And then in August, the only platinum I got was Blood and Truth, which is a 4% VR platinum. So, like, one, one platinum a month does happen. Right. But usually there's a pretty good reason for it. And also, we, you know, put the time in. So, yeah. This sure. happened. This sure. happened. And then, of course, like, the months around those months, it's like four, three, five. Yeah, I mean, some months are just popping off. You still have the record at, like, nine, don't you? I don't think like so. 2017. There's no way you you haven't topped me. Did I not get the record this, I'm this sure last year? I'm sure you've topped me at some point. I, th- I think January or February of last year I got seven or eight. But yeah. I think you still have it with nine. I don't know. I have to do the... I have to run the numbers now that 2021's in the bag. I can fling it over my shoulder and beat it with a crowbar. Um, so what do you want to, what do you want to, what are you thinking for, uh, for, for channel goals, Peter? We broke yeah, 500. I, I mean, hey! we did break 500. Thanks, so Adam thank you for subscribing, uh, for sure. We, we've had a recent fans of Adam McDermott. Thank yeah. you for subscribing. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I've always shied away from channel commitments because I feel like yep. I internally make channel commitments to myself and then don't meet them. So I usually shy away from making them publicly. Um, but what I'd want to see us do is I'd want to continue my weekly breakdown through the whole year. Um, we've yep, been really agreed. good about doing something every other week. Um, I really want to like get back into a regular rhythm with Tales of Platinum. Um, okay. So I'd really like to see one a month Tales of Platinum from either one of us or both of us. Um, and then I also want to do more video essays. I think the Outer Wilds video essay was one of the funnest projects that i've done for this channel and it just it took forever like creatively it took six months of like the script and then the footage and then the editing like by far the most work i put into any video on this channel but i'd really like to do at least two more video essays and i don't know exactly like i'm not going to commit here for what those topics would be but i have a few ideas if it's outer wilds again it's okay man i i think i'm putting outer wilds to bed i think at this point (sighs) Everyone should Echoes? know. Everyone should know. We're huge Outer Wild shills, and you should buy yeah. it and play it because it's a masterpiece. Um, I think I would. I would love to join you on this journey of making more videos. You're of course as, welcome. As, I love your input. As long as my ho- as long as my horrible hair is in frame, because yeah. what the fuck is this? Um, I want to make a video. And I do want to kind of, like, make a commitment to it. The only thing is it's not going to be nearly as scripted, but I don't want to make a habit of doing kind of, like, a just chatting type of thing. But from my experience from last year, I do kind of want to talk about that. But I don't know. I don't want to make it, like, a whole fucking thing. Like an like a tale, like a Platinum Journeys captain stepping on Adam McDermott's toes. I don't want to do that. So I do want to make something like that from my 2021 fucking bullshit that was yeah i think that'd be idea. really sick i have a few ideas for videos like that too um, so that I, i'd like to do that are more off the cuff and less scripted i yeah. i think that's a lot of the parts where i struggle where it's like i will make a script and then the script will be less than what our standards are and then i won't develop it past that and i'll just like scrap the project like that happened a lot this year so I want to do some of that, but I mean, I think the 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 immediate goal for me before Elden Ring, because really, the main thing of 2022 is get everything done before Elden Ring, because you're not going to be doing anything else once it comes on, right? Yeah. Pretty uh, much. Finish off all these fucking games we started for this competition. I started like my my completion percentage the day before it started was at 87.01 i went down to like 84 and a half bro yeah, i dropped a solid three percent from this competition i used to have like 1800 unearned plat unearned trophies i'm now over 2200 this is unacceptable i mean it doesn't hurt that i added skyrim vr which is 76 trophies 
Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which is 103. Lego DC Super Villains, which is another 76. I got, yeah, I think I added 15 games, and I've only platinumed one of them. So. Well, Slime Sand's coming up. Yeah, I'll get that probably the next two days or so. And I think, obviously, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is going to be a long-term commitment. Uh, Chorus is pretty good. Also, notice Chorves. Chorves is good. Uh, I want to do Kina. Super Monkey Ball is not going to get finished. I Am Bread is definitely not going to get finished. We should do Kiwi. You and I, we had a good time We should finish Kiwi. Kiwi. So. Kiwi's good. And then whenever Patrick's available, I can keep working on Sackboy, which is really fun. Yeah. Friend of the show, Patrick. Friend of the show, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. All right, you, you want to wrap up this yeah, week's video let's wrap this before I up. cut you off again? So if you've got any goals that you're doing for gaming or personal life or fun stuff, leave a comment about what your goal is and viciously mock the other people for their goals that they probably won't achieve because that's how New Year's resolutions work. Uh, you feel, should definitely do that. Yeah. Feel free to viciously mock us. We love it. And catch us next time. What you should really do in the comments is just keep proposing worse and worse games that we should try to get each other to finish because I'm definitely not finishing Wolfenstein 2 and therefore he doesn't have to get Farpoint or the, the gun. That's but true. If he and does, I don't want to I spend $50 should... on the gun. But like, you spent 50 bucks on like 16 different strategy games. I don't see how that's weeks. relevant at all. I don't understand you. You're such a liar. <laughs> get out of my face, Peter.